many people play sports, whether it be in elementary school or even going up to high school and college. But not everybody plays sports. Some people don't see it as fun or don't see it as useful. But it is very useful for things like exercise, teamwork, communication, and other reasons too. So what are the specifics of these reasons? For, ex for exercise, it helps you be healthier. It lowers risks of multiple diseases like heart attack, type 2 diabetes, lowers blood cholesterol levels, and osteoporosis. This degrades joints and makes it harder to move around when you get older. It also helps you feel better. It can improve sleep, improve healing after being sick or having surgery, and depression. One of my relatives has depression and the worst time is winter because they're not exercising regularly because they can't get outside and go walk and everything like that. So summer is the best time because they can get outside and go do things outside. So how does this relate to sports? You can work out for sports and be in the top physical shape that you can. Like major league sports, they try to have their athletes in the top physical shape. And sports are a great form of physical exercise. And some of these that you can do while you're at home, not at home, but in other places like swimming, soccer, and cycling. Cycling you can do anywhere as long as you have a bike. Another way is communication. You can give information and communication. This is a big thing in sports, especially between teammates and situations at their end. One example of this is the second baseman and shortstop in baseball. They have to be communicating on who is going to take the throw from the catcher when the person on first steals. This is important because you don't want two guys running at the same base hitting each other and they don't get anything accomplished. Another great way to see this is come. There are four players on the team. One throws a rock, two are sweeping a rock, and the other person is at the other end watching the curl of the rock. Well, the two people that are sweeping the rock need to be communicating how fast it is going for the other two, and the other two need to be communicating how it's curling so they need to sweep it to keep it straighter. You can also communicate with coaches. You can explain why you did something if they, and if they ask why you did something. But communication is not all about you saying something, it can also be about you listening. You need to know how to take this information and how to use this information. The most important being how to use it. You can take information, but if you don't know how to use it, that information is useless. And if you don't know what to do, that's when you listen to coaches. They might be telling you before that happens, like, hey, once if you get a ground ball, you're throwing it over to first. Or you might get it afterwards if you do something like, hey, I want you to do this instead of doing this, or instead of what you did. And last way is teamwork. You will see teamwork every day. You will use it every day. One great example of this is in group projects. When you're doing a group project, you need to get along with the other people. That is an important thing. And if you don't get along with those people, you need to learn how you're going to work through it. There's one person at my school that I don't really get along with that well. But I've learned how to work through it. Maybe I didn't talk to him about it, but I know how to tune him out, basically. And that's how I work through it. And the second, in the classroom every day. You're going to be talking to your classmates. You're going to be talking to people. And that's a big thing about teamwork is socializing with teamwork. You're really interacting with people and you need to know how to interact with people. And there's also the skills in the future part of teamwork. When you're in a job, you'll need to know how to talk to people to set up meetings or other things like that. Or people will ask, where do you want this business to go? You didn't know how you're going to answer that and work with a team on that. And also getting a job could have some teamwork kind of things. 
employers like seeing people that know how to work on a team. So they like to see sports that are team related. And also, if you start your own business, you know what kind of people that work well with you. But make sure these people are not lazy people. That's all. Concluding this, sports are a great way to keep yourself healthy and have a great mental and physical body. The mental ways being communication and teamwork and a physical way being exercise. Is employers like seeing the communication and teamwork that comes out of sports and sports are a great way to have this. Exercise is a great way to keep yourself healthy and that is why sports are a great way to get all of these three things.